If you have been a presenter in the past, you know uh, I have a strict rule against notes, but uh, not musical notes. <laughs> so, uh, let's do this, huh? Todd? Here we go. I beat the system. <laughs> Instead of saying your band plays a little of everything, just tell the truth and say you play white guy blues. See, now I'm interested. <laughs> <laughs> basically has to do with uh, albums or business cards. Most songs are made up of several verses. They are the meat of your song. A chorus is a hook that repeats several times. There's also a thing called a bridge. A major chord connotes happiness like the C major. Minor chords can sound dark or sad, but that's cultural. <laughs> Happy set. This is a waltz. One, two, three, one, two, three. Now back to standard four, four time. And that's called a stop time. Melody is a series of musical notes which define a song sound. See how powerful those are? And I'm going to skip forward. Melisma is an ancient technique where you place more than one note into a consonant. <laughs> Vibrato is also in this, and they are horribly abused by American Idol pop and R&B music. Genres can be helpful but annoying. Alternative, post-punk, world music, acid jazz, and wave of flamenco, trip-hop, these genres say very little about the music and are confusing at best. <laughs> The 1-4-5 is the most common chord progression in the history of popular song. Chuck Berry, Little Richard, Elvis, The Beatles, Heavy Metal, and Punk pretty much owe everything to these chords. <laughs> Vocoder. Think, Domo Arigato, Mr. Roboto. Talk box. Think, California love. Auto-tune. Think, do you believe in love after love? There's a difference. <laughs> Brian Eno forever changed music when in the late 70s he released a series of ambient albums. He challenged our concept of context that music isn't solely entertainment, but has the power to shape our perception of the environment around us. Playing this chord in the 1700s would have gotten me killed. <laughs> and B-flat is the only chord that will set alligators into a frenzy, and NASA calculated that Black holes hum in B-flat. <laughs> so variety. Listen to public radio, see live music, build your music collection, or here's a challenge, learn the difference between a baritone, tenor, alto, or soprano saxophones. <laughs> and musicians do a better job of explaining your music, unlike what I'm doing here. And that's part, it's all homework. Cause it fucking rocks. <laughs> Last thought. These days, music has transformed into a commodity. 
a set of disposable widgets in a factory line created for public consumption. But don't forget, music is art. It's a reflection of culture and emotion, a snapshot of time, and the aesthetic of the human condition. Ugh. <laughs> I'm really hating myself right now. Cue Pedro. This is the end of my slideshow. I hope that I made it work. I'm just really happy I pulled off all five minutes. I'm sorry if I sounded like a jerk. 